friends welcome back to my channel myself chirag in this video i am going to discuss about what is world wide web and working of world wide web topic of computer network let us start with what is www it means collection of files stored on a servers we all know that on the internet there are millions of files are available which all the files are stored on the thousand of servers so here another question is that what is files so on internet files represents documents pictures videos sounds programs etc so that files on internet in which pictures video and sounds are associated it is called a multimedia files on the internet and the remaining files are known as document files so now another question is that how can we access that files from the world wide web so you can access the files from the world wide web through the web page so my next question is that what is web page web page is one kind of html document that is stored on the web servers so we can say through the web page we can access the files from the world wide web so how can we access the file from the web page files are attached with the web page through the html tags so my next question is that how can we access the web page from the world wide web so if you want to access the web page from the world wide web you need a website so my another question is that what is website website is a collection of web pages that is belonging to particular organizations so using this website we can access the web pages and using the web pages we can access the files which are stored on the servers whenever you can access the website there is the home page home page is the front door of the website home page leads to another pages or post on the website there are another default pages are available on the website like contact us and about us so this is the introduction part of world wide web if you have any query then ask me in comment section next discuss about working of world wide web which architecture is used by the world wide web world wide web uses two tier architecture it means it uses the client server architecture what is the purpose of client in the client server architecture so in client server architecture browser acts as a client so using the browser user can send a request to the web server to access the web page so now what is the purpose of server server gets a request from the client and find the web page that is requested by the client so server provides the copy of requested web page with the additional information so do you know which kind of additional information added in the web page by the server there are two additional information is added in the web page by the server the first one is how to display a web page at the client side so at the client side browser will accept the web page and interpret that html documents and display the content of web page on the client machine another additional information is url for each selectable item on the page we all know that html holds the multimedia information on the web page here multimedia information means text images sounds and videos let us discuss working of world wide web through the client server scenario now here you can so there is one client one server and one dns server is there here dns stands for domain name server the purpose of dns server is ip to naming and naming to ip conversion let us take one example user wants to access a web page from the server and user enters the url in the web browser for example user enter the www.facebook.com it means user want to access a web page from the facebook server next the browser ask to the dns server for the ip address of that url because i already told you that what is the purpose of dns naming to ip conversion and ip to naming conversion dns server look up into the dns table and find the ip address of that particular url and the dns server send ip address of that particular url send to the web browser now browser makes a tcp connection with that ip address here port number 443 is added with the ip address because url consists of https protocol the port number of https protocol is 443 now browser sends a request to the server so server will accept that tcp connection now from that client request server will get the name of file which file is required to the client now server will search the requested file from the stored files and then server will get the file from the directory after finding that file server will send a copy of that file to the client 
So after getting the requested file from the server, no more communication between the client and server, then TCP connection is terminated from both the sides. So browser will fetch that file and display all the images, videos and text, whatever contents are available on that web page. So it is the working of World Wide Web. If you have any kind of query, you can ask me in comment section. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.